OMG BBG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Geeks unboxing. Today we have Beyblade vs BU products. This is Zest Achilles. Now if you think that Xiphoid Excalibur was a hype release, you're right, it was. But this is next level! 48 mode changes! Achilles is back! This is so sick. 48 modes, man. Mode change galore. With all these crazy features to cover, what's left for the new Spriggan? Yo, word. Astral Spriggan was known to have all the mode changes, and that was its specialty. Now Zest Achilles basically swacked that and took it to a whole new level. I did see a comment on one of our BBG talks that was saying that if Spriggan doesn't have like over a hundred mode changes, they're going to be very disappointed. So Takara told me you kind of did it to yourself. Pressure's on. In order to get Zest Achilles, you gotta buy the set, which comes with other parts as well. Yeah, exactly. So let's take a look at the back of the box so that we can show you exactly what you get with the Zest Achilles customized set. Of course, you get your Zest Achilles Bay. This entire combination comes with so many brand new parts. I'm really hyped up for that Quattro Dash driver. I wanna use that with Spriggan down the road. Of course, the Zest Swords is gonna be a big highlight as well. Uh, the other parts and the other bays that Steven was talking about, these ones right over here, looks like we get Chain Phoenix, amazing color scheme right there. Not too many new parts with these guys, it's kind of random, but that new metal never driver is kind of cool. For the people that don't have Hollow Death Scyther, this is one way to get Hollow. So this is Hollow Ragnarok 1D in this gold color. Gold color is like alright, it's not too bad, but it's kind of overplayed now. Let's not forget about the A gear as well that comes with this customized set. You can use it to upgrade all of your Belial Bays, but we will be trying it out with Divine Belial because you can get these different modes with it. So let's get started with the unboxing, but right before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. To celebrate the arrival of the new Achilles Bay, smash that like button. Let's aim for 6,000 likes. Thanks, BBGs. And one last thing, I know you want us to get to the unboxing, but if you want your own Zest Achilles customized set, go check out our friends over at Zen Market. Zen Market is a proxy shipping service that will get you Japanese goods straight from Japan. They only attach a small 300 yen fee for every item that you purchase. Zen Market has a ton of selection because they use a bunch of different marketplaces. You're basically searching on a bunch of different databases like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Auctions, Rakuten. So if you can't find it on one marketplace, you'll definitely be able to find it on the other ones. We have our own showcase page on Zen Market with a bunch of our Bay recommendations. So go ahead and check it out. If you sign up with our link, you'll get 300 yen for free. So that's going to help you cover that service fee for that first bay that you're looking for. Zen Market is updating their inventory every single month. So when a new bay drops, they have it. Go check them out if you're looking for new bays. It's unboxing time. Yeah, let's go. The color's looking pretty good. Whoa, the new Achilles. First impressions, it's so interesting to see how the energy layer can actually flip the other way. Wow, it's kind of hollow on the bottom though. Dang, I was not expecting that. A gear, it's kind of cool, cool. It's pretty cool. We actually get the tool that's included with our previous Spriggan too. It's the same tool to change the spin direction. Stickers, wow, lots of stickers to put on, dang. All right, stickers are on. There are so many stickers. So for all of you that actually like putting on stickers, you're really gonna enjoy this customized set. Of course, we're in this for the Zest Achilles, but the other parts we get is actually pretty cool too. Yeah, let's quickly go over the additional pieces that you get in this customized set. So Chain Phoenix, this looks really good. I really like the color scheme. Kinda looks like this zombie color. Reminds me of the skeleton version of Phantom Orion. Yeah, for real, man. It's actually such a nice colorway. They really need to do this more often. The black and the purple, it goes really well together. Uh, mix in the clear too, so yeah, looks really good. Nice to get an additional chain blade. And then of course, the brand new driver we have is Metal Never. It's got that POM material, so it glides on the stadium pretty nicely. Yeah, the Never driver is actually not too bad. Metal spring lock, so reinforced. It's going to be tighter than the original version. Comes with the Fortress Disc, so very fitting for a defense type. There's a bunch of cutouts in this design, but overall a pretty solid disc. 
You also get this gold hollow Ragnarok with a 1D single chassis. The gold's kind of overplayed now, but it is nice to get another hollow piece. Don't forget about the A gear too. That works with your Belial Bay. Yeah, this is probably the most exciting part in addition to Zest Achilles. So let's give this a try with our Divine Belial. Nice upgrade. If you take a look at the new A gear, you'll notice that it has four tabs and two of the tabs have a star on them. And these stars will help you keep track of the orientation of this gear when you attach it to Divine Belial. So the Divine Blade actually has a section where there's a star on there as well. So you're supposed to line these up essentially to achieve one of the modes. So you take the two sides that have the star on your A gear, match it up with the star on the Divine Blade. This right here is your three wing mode according to Takara Tomi because the main blades on the A gear match up with the main blades on the Divine Blade. Yep, the blade looks pretty pronounced in this mode. And so this definitely helps beef up this blade a little bit because it is really thin on its own. But there are still some large gaps right here. So that's still concerning, but this is still a nice upgrade compared to before. Now, if you do it the other way, you flip it like 180 and put the stars on the opposite side. Now you get your six wing mode and six wing mode will basically offset the blades. So you'll have one main blade from the black divine and then you have the red blade right over here next to it another black one then a red one another black one then a red one when you customize it like this it makes it a bit more circular yeah definitely a bit rounder seems more of like a barrage mode or something all right finally on to the star of the show we have zest achilles here with all of the stickers on looks very signature achilles the zest swords looking sick yeah overall liking the color so let's start off with the db core overall the achilles cosmetic hasn't changed very much the special part now is that when you flip it to the back you can change the rotation so this bay can be used in left spin or right spin and you just use the included tool to twist and change to whichever direction you want Onto the Zest Blade, this part is special because it has two sides just like Astral Spriggan and Master Diabolos. You can flip it and depending on which mode you use, that will determine whether it's left spin or right spin as well. So on this side right here with the silver swords, this is right spin mode. And on the other end with the gold swords, this is meant to be used with your left spin mode. More variety. Yeah, you get a lot of choices with this new Achilles. Overall, the blade looks pretty bare without the Zest Sword. So for the most part, we're probably going to be using this entire combination with the sword on. The Zest Sword is a nice evolution from the Infinite Sword. Has a lot of details to it. It has like silver swords on this design as well. Unlike the Infinite Sword and the Infinite Shield, you don't interchange them. You actually just move the position of this Zest Sword. So whether it's above the blade or below the blade will determine what mode you're in. The Zest Sword alone is pretty lightweight too. So once again, it's gonna be pretty beneficial using it with the Zest Blade. Another brand new part is this four armor. So this is a symmetrical armor. It has some distinct points where there's a little bit more weight. Overall, this is probably gonna be a pretty solid armor. Hopefully it's pretty heavy, we haven't weighed it yet. And for a balance type, it just makes sense to have a symmetrical armor. Now onto the Illegal Disc. Yeah, this Illegal Disc is super round, very smooth. Yeah, it kind of does resemble the over disc a bit in terms of the shape, but this has a bunch of cutouts as well versus over disc is super solid. So I have a feeling that this won't weigh as much as the over disc, but yeah, really round. So now when we make any customizations with this part, is every single combo going to be an illegal combo? Just kidding. Last but not least, we have Quattro Dash. Quattro Dash, so sick, man. Yeah, this is a beefed up version of the original Quattro driver that we have from Astro Spriggan. We know from the previous Quattro, it's got a super solid design. You pull the tabs down to change the modes. Yeah, the four tips you can choose from is balance, which has a little bit of rubber. It's kind of like a Unite driver. You can pick stamina, which is like a metal sharp. Defense, which is a metal ball. And then attack, which is a flat rubber tip. So lots of variety. So it's extra special that they even made the dash driver version of this even stronger than the previous Quattro. If Astral Spriggan in Beyblade Burst DB got this dash driver originally, it'd be even crazier. All right, time to put the bay together. So let's just start off by putting the Zest Sword on and then we'll probably have it in right spin mode. There's so many modes to go over. So let's just do this. This will kind of be like our default mode. 
and that probably applies to most people. So you just line up the tabs on your Zest Sword with your blade there to attach it. We'll put the DB core on and then lock it in with the four armor like that. The legal disc and then there we go. Zest Achilles. Yeah, what do you guys think of uh, the design? So to sum it up, without the Zest Sword, you got speed mode. So right spin attack mode, Zest Sword is on top. On defense mode, it's on the bottom. Takara Tomi has these awesome graphics on their video talking about the different modes. So let's go over that. This will give you a good idea as to what the modes look like. I think the coolest looking mode is probably attack right spinning mode. I don't know if you agree, Brendan. You definitely get the most detail with that. You see the stickers, you get the gold accents and the blue accents. So yeah, I would agree with you there. Or even like left spin defense mode, kind of like the same there too. You get all the colors there, but the orientation of the swords are a little bit different. And one thing to note is that Takara told me didn't actually make this very easy to understand all the modes. They kind of flipped everything depending on whether you're in right spin or left spin. So when the sword is on top, when you're in right spinning mode, that's attack mode. But if your sword is on top and you're in left spin mode, that's defense. So yeah, super confusing, especially because the shape of the bay looks aggressive while it's in its left spinning defense mode. Like, wouldn't that be attack instead? It's just, yeah, there's so many different combinations with this and not too sure if Takara Tomi actually put a lot of thought into the naming. So will the left spin defense mode actually be better for defensive play? And of course you can go into high mode, so that gives you another six ways to mix and match these uh, different combos. We honestly probably won't be using high mode very much. At least when the armor is on the top, it does make the bay look even cooler. It has like that extra metal on the top there. So it does add to the design at least. Yo, I just came up with another troll video idea. Okay, so what we should do is we'll put Achilles into a random mode and then the other person will have to identify the mode as quickly as possible, like within a certain amount of time, like two seconds to guess the mode or something. <laughs> it's like some pop quiz. Yeah, it'll be like left spin, defense mode or something like that. You have to guess like super quick. It's time to weigh the bay. How much is Achilles gonna weigh? We got 74.76 grams. Okay, so it's uh, actually lighter than our Xiphoid Excalibur. Yeah, it weighs just a little bit less than Xiphoid. I think Xiphoid is, yeah, like 79 grams there, so a few grams more, but overall not too bad. I'm curious about the illegal disc. So illegal disc weighs 31.97 grams. I wanted to compare that to the over disc. I think over already feels heavier. 33.33 grams, so yep, over still heavier. All right, test battle time. There is so many modes to go through, but we'll save that for some official battles. We'll do a few rounds in this unboxing, of course. So we are in right spin attack mode and balance driver. Right, three, three, two, two one, one, go. <laughs> Looks pretty sick in the stadium. A little bit less blue or a little more blue, depending if you want to use the Zest Sword. Wow. Change the driver to defense mode. Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. Those two swords hit pretty hard. It does sound like it's hitting pretty hard. Oh, still lost the Astral. Switching it up, we have Right Spin Defense Mode, Stamina Driver. So many combinations that are possible. Three, Three two, two, one, go. Three. Wow, it looks like there's a little bit more red there now since the sword's on the bottom. Wow, a test of stamina against a stamina type. Wow, he's actually pretty darn solid. 
So that's the unboxing of Zest Achilles, the mode change king. It has 48 modes, there's so much variety, it has a lot of potential for sure. It's not the heaviest bay that we've ever uh, got from Takeratomi, but it's still a pretty sick bay. So leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of this bay. You should probably get it, even if you don't like it that much. Honestly, you do get a little bit lazy changing the modes. It's like quite a bit of work actually to run through all of them, but I'd say it's worth it. So like this video, subscribe, and as always, geeks out.